Halloween 2 was directed by Rick Rosenthal, starring Jamie Lee Curtis, Donald Pleasance, and Dick Warhol as The Shape, or also known as Michael Myers. So, this movie picks up where the first one leaves off. Um, Laurie Strode, played as Jamie Lee Curtis, is hurt. Uh, she is um, put in an ambulance and rushed to the nearest hospital. Um, so... Uh, this is right after Donald Pleasance, um, or, uh, Dr. Loomis shoots Michael Myers and he falls off the balcony. Um, so, uh, Michael Myers, you know, follows, uh, Laurie Strode to the hospital, uh, because he's got some unfinished business with her. He wants to kill her, um, and he kills everybody who gets in his way. So, uh, now this movie, um... The kills has got a lot gorier than they were in the first one, and I like that. Um, some people may have a problem with it, but I actually like gore uh, in horror movies. Um, it's like eye candy for me. Uh, and yeah, I, I liked it in this movie. And I thought Dick Warhol played a very good Michael Myers. He was very intimidating, very scary. Uh, I liked the way he moved um, and like... I think he really captured, uh, like, how um, Nick Castle played Michael Myers in the first movie. Uh, he played, uh, Dick Warhol played him really good in this movie. Um, he's he's probably my second favorite guy who, who has played as Michael, in my opinion. Uh, George P. Wilbur would be my top favorite uh Actors who has played as Michael Myers. I think that's his name. Um, it did suck how Laurie Strode was bedridden most of this movie. Um, so it was just uh, spoilers, but it was just Michael Myers uh, killing nurses, like random people you don't care about. There was really no character development or anything. Uh, you didn't care about these characters and how they died. Um, but there was some good, there was some good kills. Uh, I, I will give it that. Um, there was there was some kills that didn't make any sense though. Um, like Myers had a knife, and I don't know why he resulted in uh, killing like some people the way he did, like uh, putting um, injecting something into this woman's head in a syringe or like with a syringe, uh, and he put a, an IV in this one uh, nurse's arm and let her blood drain while she was passed out and she slowly bled to death. Uh, you know, that was very un-Michael Myers to me. Um, it was very weird. Uh, yeah, he's... Michael Myers has always been, like, to me, a stabby-stabby type of guy. <laughs> uh, so this movie was very suspenseful. And uh, John Carpenter updated the theme song. And in my opinion, I like this version better than uh, the regular piano version of the Halloween theme song. Um, yeah, I, I really liked it in this movie. It really fit. Um, so there was this, this movie uh, had some good, like, suspenseful Michael Myers scenes. Where he's just standing in the far distance and his face is just illuminated. Well, the the scene that comes to mind is when Lori looks over and she sees him standing like far away, and this like red light is around his face, and he's just standing there watching her. That shit was really creepy. And uh, when he's about to kill this nurse, she's like, she sees this doctor. He's already dead. He's got this needle stuck in his eye or the syringe stuck in his eye. And she's backing up in the in this dark room. And then his face, uh, Michael's face, appears behind her. And that shit was really fucking good, too. So it's got some good moments. And um, so my two favorite scenes is when Lori shoots Michael in the eyes. Um, very good accuracy, by the way. Uh, especially with that wounded arm she had. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, Michael like crying blood that was really fucking cool and uh then him coming out of the room on fire and uh i really respect um like 
either John Carpenter or uh, Rick Rosenthal wanting to like end Michael. I think it was uh, John Carpenter who wanted to kill Michael off. And uh, so, yeah, they were willing to kill Michael off and start, you know, fresh with a new Halloween movie, uh, which was Halloween 3, that doesn't have Michael in it at all. And that's the reason. They wanted to do uh, a different story with um, with each Halloween movie. And people didn't like that. They wanted Michael to come back. So that's why uh, he came back in Halloween 4. And that's why we still have Michael to this day. Because fans loved him too much. But yeah, uh, that's it for this review. Um, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. Uh, it's one of the best sequels out of the Halloween um, movies, uh, along with the new Halloween movie that just came out, uh, this year, and, uh, that one's uh, a good runner-up for the Halloween sequels, but anyway, guys, that is it for this review, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, I'll see you guys later.